Welcome to Afro Kingdom. Today we have another episode of the Black Everyday Experience. And in this episode, we are talking about learning more about your passion with Kaya. But before we get started, like and subscribe us. I do this with my whole hair now. Slap some gloss on. I did slap some gloss on. When I learned how to write, that's when I wanted to learn different styles of writing. Um, different kind of job. I'm sorry. Come on. And then after I practiced, I learned more about the skill through school. I took different classes. I went to the library that showed how to read books. And that's like number one place to like learn about your trade. So if you like biology, you can go to the, you can go to the library. And then you don't have to pay for books, especially scholarly books. You can get like books from different genres for your different levels for different um branches when it comes to the science field it gave you an idea like oh well i like science but like do i want to do space science do i want to do like environmental science a uh, science that involves the ocean they give you like a different perspective um so for me i Explore those things through going to the library. That was one of my first um, places. Um, my grandmother and other people and teachers like told me about to like, learn about different things. For Caillou, you she can find books about. You say you like chemistry, or you interested in chemistry since we yeah did. So she said she wanted to do chemistry in uh, high school. Right? So in high school, like since schools are not open right now, so that means she can't go to the library at the school. She can just go to the library, and they have right now since not all public libraries are open. She can go use her phone and put her, like the passcode in for the uh, your library card and get an ebook and they'll download it to your phone. I actually did that a couple of weeks ago with another book I was reading, and it was really neat. Neat. <laughs> It was very neat because I had the option to put it on my phone or I could put it on my Kindle and I actually just read it through my Kindle and then <laughs> just like a regular book when those two weeks or the month was over, they took that book off. That's it. That's one way I had to worry about I had to return a book or being late. So this is, this technology is like the best thing for certain things when it works. Another way you can um, learn more about your skills, like enrolling in classes, such as when we mentioned like the community, um, uh, community based um, community centers. We talked about how we can. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. She she just so relaxed. Yes. <laughs> so, like. During that, in Pride Community College, if you decide to go there, um, you can enroll into classes or seminars, and then they teach you about different ways, like trades, business, sewing, any of your interests, you can find it. Just Google, like, so-and-so seminar, or go to your the book with the community centers and see if they have a class for that. That will, Those activities will help you learn more about your skill more about the trade that you're thinking passionate about at the moment it gives you like more interest it gives you more knowledge in the field because you don't want to if you think you want to make money with the trade you want to get enough information about that that field before you step in there and try to put money money into that like college and then end up not liking it who like wasting money not me you like wasting money mm -hmm. I wish I don't do that. I think it's just about everybody who likes food. 
I'm glad you need everybody. Everybody likes food. I'm not gonna have no more food buying money. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's having a mental breakdown. Because she don't have money for food. I need a job. Pass some grades first. The third way to learn more about your trade is finding a mentor. Now, this one is tricky because, like, it's not okay to just, like, see somebody that you like and not find them. And you just say, hey, I like your work. Like, can you be my mentor? No. They be like that. Or they try to be nice and be like, I don't know you. It's a scam. That too, especially if you find them online. And you say, I like you. Please be my mentor. And they look like... What, what you what you gonna do for me? Like, like not everybody wants to be a mentor. Like you celebrities, most of them when they started up, they wasn't thinking about being a mentor. Or if they did, they were already had mentioned it in the first sentence when they get on TV. I want to be a mentor for young girls, or I want to be a mentor for young rappers or something like that, and get them a creative outlet. They already mentioned it. Some of them just like. I like music and I like to sing, so just thought I'd do it. And it just happened to blow up, and now everybody liked me. But they did not say they wanted to be a mentor. So when you want, you find somebody you want to be a mentor, that could be a teacher, that could be just somebody you uh, inspired to be something like on Instagram, or your favorite author, your favorite poet, something like that. Like, create a relationship with them and make sure you have something that you can give to them like it don't have always have to be money you know some people like if it's money involved i'll do it but sometimes you can just say i want to be a f film director one day and you are my, and i love this movie that you uh produce so maybe let me help out like Behind the scenes, like while you teaching me how I can be a good director, I can um behind the scenes when you do your next movie, like clean up for you or like do some extra shots for you when you can't do it or you need an extra hand for something and you don't have to pay me and you taking me working for free, but you get to learn behind the scenes and you get to learn how to trade. So that would be a beneficial way to like, have somebody be like, I will be your mentor because. You want to help me behind the scenes while I'm doing my next movie. And then at, on a set and maybe off, off a set, mm. after I get off a set, then we will help. I'll help you learn more about the trade and the industry and get you get you names. Like maybe I need you to go to this movie and you're going to meet this so-and-so actor and actresses. And I mean, you build a relationship with the director and then the actress actors and actresses then when you ready to make a movie you be like help me out and they will most likely be able to help you out with the skills they taught you and maybe you might get those actors and actresses that was in their movie to get in yours and get your name out there especially if they're a big artist so that's how mentorship should work and that usually works when you're not <laughs> about to get the money always find something they can relate to Kai, what kind of ways do you think? Why oh, it sound like you in the water? What kind of ways do you think that we can um learn more about our passion? So, like for you, we say chemistry or just science. Mm -hmm. Okay, science. What other ways do you think people can learn more about science? Um, if they watch, um, Bill Nye. What's that? You don't know what Bill Nye is? No, that's why I'm asking you. Are you... Well, that's why we're on this platform, no, so you can inform me. And Bill then... Nye, the science guy? You've never heard oh, of him? Oh, yeah, him. But no, I didn't know the whole name. And I didn't watch the show when I was younger, so... Wow. I was watching other channels. <clears throat> and, oh... Uh, and what do you learn from that? Like, I know it's science, but though he talk about specific science, or he like, um, it's like a different 
topic every episode or every season, I guess. It's pretty entertaining. Do you have any other shows you have in mind or other? Uh, I watch science experiments on YouTube sometimes. Yeah, YouTube is good too. Uh, with all the technology we got, it's always best to like see if you can find these kind of um, lessons about your passion online because it's free. All you gotta do is pay for the internet, and you can find anything on the internet. And you can find you can find your passion anywhere online or through TV, movies, documentaries, Netflix, other streaming channels always best so afro kingdom we got a question for you since we've been doing these episodes and we have been doing like different ways to learn about our passion have you been like learning more about that passion and if you have definitely put it in the comments section also since we gave you these like ways you can learn more about your passion that since from the first episode what have you like discovered about yourself but what do you think is your top three things you think you're passionate about and are interested in like exploring those passions by learning more about the trade or hobbies definitely put that in the comment as well if you like this episode, definitely like it and subscribe so you can be ready for the next episode. Big. Big.